Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a great weekend and that you are ready to enjoy people behaving in the most gentle and kind way. I'm joking. It's only rude and disrespectful folks coming in and that's what you're here for. The dude recording this video was a door dasher who got fired because the woman that he's recording ordered a door dash to her workplace and lied, saying she never received anything. He was fired the next morning. But get this, after this video was published, he got rehired by DoorDash, while the woman, who had only been at her job for a couple of weeks, got fired. Hi again. Uh, I delivered food here yesterday from Chipotle. And you put down that I didn't deliver it to you? Because I just got fired from my job. Yeah, it was you. This is my only source of income. I do this all day. Now I'm fired from my job? Because you want your $10 burrito? No. Are you out of your mind? Who does this? Who does that? You got me fired? Like, I need the corporate number or something. Because I, I need to get your ass fired. Does anyone have a corporate number? You have one? I'll contact DoorDash. Yeah, yeah. All right, you want to say that you got your food? I'll oh. contact them, but... But what? Did you... Like, did you get your food or what? How are you? Hi. I even called my lawyer. He told me I can call the cops because it's theft. <laughs> it's theft. Are you going to say you got your food or not? Or should I call the cops? Because you, you're stealing. Them. Yeah, yeah, you are stealing. I'm gonna yeah, who does that? Who f***ing raised your ass? Who raised you? Seriously. Piece of trash. That's what you are. Trash. Are you the, are you the manager? Can I help you? Yeah, I delivered food here yesterday from Chipotle on DoorDash. I DoorDash all day. That's my main source of income. That's all I do. And this girl, I delivered it to her. And then she went on DoorDash and put down the I didn't deliver it here. So then I, this morning I wake up to go DoorDash and I'm fired because of her. Because she said I didn't deliver it. I would never do that. I had it right to her. That's the girl. Is there a corporate number I can call or something? Because you guys have thieves working here. Give me a phone number here. You have thieves working here. This lady seems to be utterly bothered by people deadlifting in a gym, even though that is usual in gyms. But her being a Karen obviously means that she is against any and all types of normal behavior if it is not to her liking. Every time someone comes here and drops a weight, it vibrates up here. We're just deadlifting. Huh? We're just deadlifting. I don't give we don't a appreciate shit what you're doing, you're dropping weights. We don't appreciate you yelling at Excuse us. Excuse me, shut the f up. I know about That's gyms. That's not nice. I know about gyms, and you guys are out of control. And I tell you what, this place is going to be shut down very shortly because you guys are irresponsible. I don't give a shit whether you drop weights. There's no cushioning there. There's nothing. Tell me, what, show me, show me what the cushioning is. Come on, show me. Where's the cushioning? What do you mean by cushioning? Is there any, is there any rubber there? No, you've got this flat thing on a concrete floor. There's nothing underneath here. What we're the getting, are we're you getting doing? insulted. No, what the f are you doing? If you drop weights, get your manager to make sure that there's cushioning there. It's yeah. pathetic. Look at how this male Karen here flexes on McDonald's employees and how he makes $45 an hour. Excuse me. 7 12. When I ordered, we ordered right. two sides of tartar sauce. Okay, what's what I said? One we ordered two sides of tartar sauce and okay. chapel sauce, so I want the other side. Okay, you'll have to Let the grown man earn his minimum wage, Scott. I make more than you. Scott, how much do you make? Scott, how much do you make? I make 35 bucks an hour. I'm going to have you escorted from the store. Why don't you go f yourself? Don't come back to my store. The person filming this video is calling hell no on the supervisor you're seeing here because she decided that a bag was oversized and that the person recording needed to pay an extra $75 or he doesn't fly anywhere. And of course, while acting like a narcissistic squirrel. Thank you. 
I've flown four times this year already. Yes, and we do understand that not all Allegiant sites. Can you tell me what the specs are, please? And then what, what makes this an oversized bag? You're the, because of the, the way size. you see it? Because of the size. No, What's the size? What makes this an oversized bag? The size. That's all I have to tell we you need is the size well, we need the, the size. We need yes. specifications. So when we fly with Allegiant, you can't just you can't Allegiant eyeball has it. Allegiant has to have the rules. Correct. It's an oversized bag. Where does it say that? Okay. Say I'm not speaking of this anymore. If I, you ask me again, you will not fly today. End of story. This is unbelievable. And you, can, you will not provide your information? No, sir. Your name? I do not have to. Okay. You, you don't? Okay. okay. And you can record me. I am. Thank we you. have to. This, is, this woman filming this video is tired of the shenanigans of customers and decides enough is enough. This is going to start slow, but will get insane fast. If things are out of your control uh -huh. or out, uh -huh. you could have simply said, you know, I'm very sorry that Which I, I can't handle it this at time. Here is a call or here is a number you can call, but I'm very sorry that I can't do uh -huh. this. So here's the thing. You, okay. you weren't privy to the entire conversation, number one. Number two, it had absolutely nothing to do with you. Number three, you came in and you didn't de-escalate, ma'am. You escalated the situation. Uh, number four, I read your unflattering review on our lovely <laughs> chef. You were upset about coffee that you came 15 minutes prior to when coffee is even served, and you were upset because it didn't come to you immediately. Oh, I didn't say anything about I, I thought you did. I, excuse I read me, that John, was not you're me. Not that gonna, was me. It's 2022. Give me my receipt. We're not dealing Give with me this. My we are not dealing with this kind of behavior in 2022, ma'am. That's ma good. Give me my and receipt, no, You please. will not curse at me. You will step out of my office immediately. I will email I will to you. step out of your you, office. We don't condone this Give behavior. Give me my receipt, please. We don't condone you this behavior what? in 2022. Out. Out. Give me my out. receipt, please. Out. Out. We don't condone this. In don't you ever talk to me like that. Shame on you. Oh. You need to work on your people you know skills. What? And you are not welcome back. Don't you ever I speak to me like that. Come Good. Back to this Thank place. you. You are a Karen. You, know you are the definition of a Karen. And we are not putting up with that in 2022. You know what you Good are? day, ma'am. This lady gets in deep trouble after she keeps trying to scam this man about five times and looks at how he fakes being fooled by that daughter story, finally asking how many daughters she is just because. Yeah, love. Hello? What's up? I've got a daughter who yeah. had a car accident. She had a car accident? She's been in hospital a while, okay? Um, How I've many been... daughters have you got? You've done this to me four times. Four times. Is your daughter in Nara? She got a kid? Okay. How many kids you have? Love, you've got to stop doing this to people. Find a job. You done it to me at that job. You done it to me at that job. You done it to my brother and you done it to my cousin. I've just got him on the phone now. Here she is again, George. She's done it again. Here she is again. Okay. Listen, you got to stop doing it. Right. You're playing on people's. You know what I'm saying? Anxiety and that. Right. You're I'm doing sorry. it to me. Don't be sorry. Go and get a job. Her accident. She's been in hospital right. again. She's a professional. This is going YouTube live. YouTube live. When you see her, make sure this bird, you don't give her money. And there's her number plate. Now she's running. Has your daughter had another accident, love? Another accident? How many accidents have you had? There to you too, mate. Get a f job. So this sane and respectful woman cuts the guy filming in line and, when caught on her behavior, screams as if she lost a child or something, as if the man filming was actually the one at fault here. I just can't. Is this a prank? I can't. He won't go away. He You're needs to go away. He's a problem. I need to leave? No, no, just no. Take to the I still got, I still got, okay. Let's, let's she threw some of my stuff. Okay. You know, Where's she still? Okay. I hell if I know. I'm so sorry. Oh, well, I just asked her if she saw just anyone leave. in line. Just leave. Just go. That's leave. an adult. You're making it worse. Let's just walk up I'm to you. I'm just talking. Please. Walk up to you. Walk with Chris. Walk with Chris. Walk with Chris. Just, just to calm everything down.
This lady and her well-behaved dog cannot fathom the audacity of our guy filming for not having his dog on a leash on his own property. You know what? You go and get yourself help. Yeah, I will. You need it. I'll Come get on. help. I'm getting rid of my stupid, crazy neighbor. Oh, get your dog away from mine. Uh, this is my yard, you stupid No, your dog has got to be on a leash. Really? He's standing in my yard. But he's supposed to be on a leash. Come on, Aiden. Let's go. Yeah, Aiden, take your barking bitch ass in the house. You know what? <laughs> I'm 41, Patty. I don't care. You're I'm 41. Oh, oh, and you can take all my pictures. He ain't doing shit in my yard. Oh, you know what? He has to be on a leash, according to my vet. Come on, Aiden. <laughs> Look how my dog is being, you stupid bitch. You know what? Your dog is barking, acting a fool. My dog is wagging his tail. This is our yard i don't care what you say he needs to be in a fenced yard or he needs to be why be your dog's in it you're the one that needs a fenced yard your dog be attacking people oh he has not bubba loves everybody except bitches like you and your dog shouldn't have an owner like you well guess what he has somebody that protects him oh, oh, good. so you f with my dog you f with me babe, babe. what babe, no f this stupid babe. bitch Kind of leaves you wondering, if his dog has to be on a leash in his backyard, why doesn't hers? If you thought for a second that your neighbors were bad, well, think again. The people recording this video are being confronted by theirs because they left their swim shorts to drive by their pool, which was so disgusting that they could not sleep for a whole week. It's a family home. Oh, it's a family home. Yeah, it is okay. a family home, yeah. Okay, it's good to know. Yeah, it's a family yeah. home. Okay. But also, what, what, was, the, what was the We're thing about when there was uh, swim to... shorts over there? What was the problem? Do I need to be staring at underwear? Well, why are you looking shorts? at the house, though? Why what? It's outside well, her window, man. Why am I yeah. looking at the house? I eat dinner right there staring yeah. at underwear look, look at the somewhere other else yeah. wrong answer you're telling okay. me to look somewhere else Listen. when i've lived here longer okay. than you guys but no, why, now I'm do pissed. i look at your now house I'm pissed. Well, do i look at your house you know though? what you guys you guys never come outside you do you never well yeah, listen, when, listen, you guys, we when we're going to bed and my son's outside saying you guys Just are out there talking and shit, i told him to okay? say Shut up. This is this is a private neighborhood. Keep, keep, keep recording it. You guys yeah, are I running will, I am recording, keep recording it because Think you know about what? This. Now I'm calling the cops. There's a lot of people you're pissing off. Okay. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. Trust me. There's a lot of people no, you're pissing now off. Now you here. piss me off. People, tell me, in your opinion. Do you think it is a good idea to talk like that to someone about to make your drink or some food? Because I'm pretty sure it's not. I want her job taken. I don't know who she thinks she's talking to, but that ain't acceptable. Yeah, I'm gonna have a conversation with her. But you got a line in the road, and there's no one in front of me. Yeah, I'm gonna come inside. Yeah. No, I wanna place my water. Large iced coffee, six and six, and a medium iced coffee, four and four. Tell her to do a job. If you love thieves getting caught red-handed, then you're in for a treat. Hi, hey, you too, Yeah, thanks. Can I have my dog at your house? Uh, you, you have my dog. You done posted the dog and everything. Can I have my dog at your house? Okay, hold on. First off, I wasn't trying to steal your dog by any means. It's okay, because you done seen all my posts on the internet. I don't, no, I don't I have see not. You have. No, honey, the I person haven't. that sent me to you sent me everything. I that told have them. Been. I, I told you, like, like Don Kelly. Just open your door. And just the dog. Oh, he, doesn't, house. he doesn't bite at all. Just you be my dog. All right, the dog is out back. I'll go get him. But you can go. I here. want to explain to you that I wasn't trying to steal your dog. It's I okay, found him over at Donnie's deli, and he almost got hit. Or she almost got it's hit. Okay. And I tried to find. I tried to find the owner, and everybody that I talked to up there, I told them. I said, let them know that I live on Green. <laughs> Like you told somebody. I told three or four different people. You couldn't have because the person that sent me to you was discussing my dog with you. Let you knew that my dog was posted. That the dog was missing. You did not try to get a dog. No, like, I, I just want. I just want my dog. I don't feel That's like time to be no, talking. I, not, I would not okay. sit there and steal somebody's you, dog. I tried to can, find that owner and I told him okay. to find my van on green. I don't feel like steady talking. You can just give me my dog. Go so out back and tell Donovan to get uh, the dog. Okay. Oh. Uh,
time this dog ain't missing. Y'all been seeing that shit about this dog. Nobody trying to get that. You been on Facebook. You just posted the f***ing dog. You just posted the f***ing dog said new addition okay, to my family. Okay, we just lost that you just posted the f***ing dog. You knew the f***ing dog was missing. I don't feel like steady talking. I don't feel like steady talking. I don't give a f***. My dog been missing. Mine. That I paid money out of my Okay, Y'all been man, seeing that the man, dog was missing. Man, Did nobody try to give me man, shit? Man, Did man, nobody say a thing to me? Nothing. Okay, well, I told several people, and you can have I just want my dog. Know. I don't want to keep talking. Just bring my dog on here. Y'all know what the f going on? Okay, 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 okay. And I'm sorry that you won't have a new addition to your family. Been having my dog all these times. I stay around the corner. I drive for three whole yeah, three whole days that you knew that the dog was missing. Three that you knew because the fucking woman that sent me to your fucking ass told me that she communicated with you and sent you the post about the dog missing and you done posted the fucking dog. I'm not gonna keep talking to your thieving ass junk ass, bitch. You done started. You better hope I don't get that out and do something with it. Junk ass shit. Shut the fuck up talking to me. That man is not fond of this new park security guard, and if you look closely, even his dog seems ashamed of his behavior. Get the fuck out of here. Have your dog on the leash, please. You! We hate you! We fucking hate you! Okay. The whole community despises you now. Okay. And we're gonna keep cutting this shit open. Day after day after day. It's your tax dollars. You, I know it's my tax dollars. You're not letting me use it. Why don't you shut your f***ing mouth? I'm obviously f***ing unhinged. F*** you. This isn't your job. Your job is to shut the f*** up right now and call the cops. Don't mouth off. We f***ing can't stand you. Talk to the district. To the district. They're not listening. They're not listening. The whole neighborhood used to like this and now we don't like you. F*** you. The whole community. So, this couple bought the house of a landlord who passed away and immediately came and told the tenant, who is technically now their tenant, to vacate immediately. That sure is not what the law says you can do, but it seems they do not care. These coming in my house, like trying to tell me some bullshit. Where's the court papers? What are the police No, show me the court papers. The police ain't gonna do shit. I got proof that I live here. Now what? But I have to die on this property. No, but you, this is not your house. Yes, I do. No, Miss Jeffers died and, and you didn't live here. I own this property. Says, oh, Thursday. yeah, Miss Jeffers left you in charge. I bought the property. Yeah. Yes, you can record yeah. me. Yeah. I am the owner. Okay. Okay. Sounds interesting. No, I was here. Can I see the papers? You can snatch it from my hand. All right, I've been telling you, let me see. You don't even want to let me see. Yes, we are. With your fake paperwork. Yeah, we're in the. Y'all gotta take me to court. That's how stupid y'all are. Y'all stupid ass. What happened? Where the court papers? Y'all think the cops gonna protect you? This is my fucking house. You dumb. You stupid. Dumb ass. Feeling like you got all the power, bitch. You ain't got shit. What happened? Where the court papers? What happened? When y'all taking me to court? What happened? Cause it don't work like that, poppy, mommy. If y'all ain't know. Look at him. He's changing my lock. This is, this is That's illegal. Your That's your this, this is illegal. Your this is so illegal. So yeah, I can't go through the other side neither, right? According to y'all, right? But y'all changing my lock. So how am I gonna get through the front? Yeah. Oh, okay, she, she, okay. She okay. Really to no, no, I'm making sure. I'm making sure because y'all some funny ass people. This visibly annoyed Wendy's manager tells our couple filming here that they do not know how to order properly, and well, this causes tension. Hi, how are you today? Who was who was talking to us back there? Do you have a question? About, a different question? About somebody saying you don't have to be this difficult? It doesn't have to be that difficult to order a sandwich. There's a way to order it and it just confuses the cooks in the front. It's just so a if I don't if I don't want my sandwich with everything on it, we're not you just allowed to say that at the beginning? Because when they put it in it it's all it already prompts up to the front. Everything you say back there goes all the way to that front. So it just confuses them. So they start making it with everything on it and then you say you don't want it and you just want bacon. So it confuses the cooks. 
Okay, the but there's a nice there's a nicer way. Add bacon. Okay, but there's a nicer way to say stuff. And there's a proper way to order food. So All right. If token, you don't want your job, if you don't want your job, just quit. Ma'am, if you don't know how to order food, then go somewhere else. Don't play with me. Ma'am, don't play with me. I'm not going to go ahead and pay. For, go ahead. Here, take here's your card. Cancel that order that's coming up. Take your card, please. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Yep. You too. Yep. She. She. Yep. So this is a weird one. They're in California, and this woman ordered water which is being delivered, but she would not sign before the water was in her garage, so the delivery man stopped the delivery, but then she said she'd sign, but under duress. Yeah, you decide who you think is right here. Of course. Hey, hey, so don't you. touch my car. I'm it's, not touching your truck. It's my truck. Okay, oh, then I won't touch your truck. Hey, don't I won't touch your truck. Hey, don't touch your truck. I'm not touching your truck. Hey, I'm not touching your truck. I'm Shh. touching what I bought. Hey. This is not your truck. This is not your truck. It's water that I paid no, for. No, it's in my truck. No, it's right not now, in it's your truck. Please move. Move. You know you're an asshole. Yes. I wish you nothing but harm. Mm -hmm. I put it back. No, you get out of my garage. This is my garage. This is my garage. That's your truck. This is my garage. Well, you sign it, it's yours. You're not signing it. I want my water that I paid for. You're refusing to give it to me. Not. Yes, you are. You have to sign. No, I delivery. never do that. They deliver and I sign it. So you sign that paper. Here, let me sign it. Let me sign it. Yeah, across all okay, that shit. Under duress. Okay, where's your pen? Under duress, you have forced me to sign this. And you have cost me emotional and mental damn This next guy gets caught in a McDonald's being weirdly creepy and is pushed away, but not before giving an incredible display of a mind that was not nurtured properly during childhood. Don't follow me. You're harassing me. Leave now. Go. 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 Don't harass me. Go. I. You want me to? Go. Hey, I'm now, get the f out of here. Go, I'm pervert. I'm the Go now, asshole. I'm calling the cops. Go ahead and call the cops. What are you gonna do? I'm calling the cops. Call them now. What I'm gonna do? I offered to kick you out because you're creeping behind the sign there. You said you only wanted to what? Get an order from a pretty girl with pretty germs? That is really creepy, dude. Call the cops. Yeah, we need the cops at Burger Bar. Can't even get the. So we do not have the context of what happened before, but here is what we do know. We have a woman who appears to be harassing some dude trying to sell a bike on a pier, and these other kids see what's happening and come to argue on his behalf. See my bike. No, I'll steal it from you though unless you delete what you've recorded of me though. Uh, is this your bike? I'm selling this no. bike for $60. Why, why are you this bike? Because he's recording me illegally. It's on public property. You can record on public property. Hey. That's why it's called public. What are you, why are you recording me? He's That's creepy. Channel. It's not creepy. It's, it's Would you like to purchase this bike? I'll sell it to you for $50. Okay. Do you want are you going that? to put Because I don't appreciate it. No, 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 that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Take that off of it. Hey, call the, call, the call the police. Call the police. I'm not going to Why? Why are you touching this shit? You can't touch this shit. If I went up to you and I grabbed your purse, I was like, oh, I'm not taking anything. Would you appreciate that? Would I'm not that? taking anything. That wasn't my question. That wasn't my question. Okay, he's being a public nuisance. Don't care, you are too. Walk away. You really want to stand here and fight about this? He's being more of the public nuisance? You, you are. You came up to him. He's doing his. He's doing what he wants no, to do. He's walk away. He's following me around recording me. Because <laughs> you're giving him attention. This is how he's going to profit. You're standing here making a big old 
standing in front of the Huntington Beach Pier. Okay. Okay. So this is, this is the big news. There's a random person walking around, and there's a young man who's following her, and I'm the one freaking out because you're being an annoying young man. Please excuse me. I'm welcome, not here to disturb. Her. Welcome to this is a regular world. Are you really trying to sell your bike? Is there any part of you who's trying to be an annoying young man? I'm going to say this. I'm not here to disturb anybody. I'm, that's the last thing I'd want to do. I hope you have a totally great evening. Okay. okay. Can I just ask you please to stop recording me? Or following me around? I, w I hadn't done anything to you. I was just walking here. I was... I had not touched his property. I was standing over there with my friend. Why are you lying? I had, excuse me, let Not me finish. Face. Got on my face. Got on my face. I had gone over there first, and I was simply looking at the view with my friends. And someone says that guy's over there. Oh, he's over there recording. So she wasn't bothering. I you had in the first place. I had not been bothering you at all. I had not done anything to you. You followed me over there and started Shut up. recording me for some reason. That doesn't make sense to me. Well, it, I, I think mean, you yeah. were provoking Shut up. me. This woman simply lost her mind in a Burger King, and thankfully, the woman recording this video will explain everything you need to know about this freakout right at the end. Enjoy. Because we were standing here at the people. There's yes, a camera. Ma'am, please get out of my line. 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 Um, a lot of people want a story time when there isn't really a story time. What you guys see in the video is what happened. I posted part one, two, and three on TikTok, but they took part two down. That's why I told my story that that last. Um, anyway, but there isn't really a story time. What happened was we walked in and they told her that she would have to wait 25 minutes for the food that she wanted because breakfast ended. They were trying to be nice to her and oblige her, but she didn't want to wait the 25 minutes. So I d you didn't see it in the video, but somebody from the kitchen gave her something in the bag to like she can have while she waits on her food that she wants but she didn't want to wait and she started yelling so i didn't start recording at the time because I, th I didn't think it was going to go anywhere because she took the bag and she just started walking out but then she came back in and then started yelling at the worker again and that's when i started recording and that's what you guys see so if you wanted a story time that's a story time she didn't want to wait 25 minutes for her food and she got mad and started being disrespectful and that's what happened this man gets accused of giving everyone at his job the coronavirus because he came with it and didn't tell anyone, and his reaction is kind of that of a guilty person. Why did you come into work with COVID-19 and spread it to everyone? You gave it to Kyla, you gave it to Dr. Lee, and now you're going to give it to me? Why huh? did you come in here? Why did I come in here? Because you deserve to not have a f job, dude. You don't care about anybody. You don't care about anyone at all. Yourself, just yourself and your money, dude. You sound ridiculous. Dude, what do you mean I sound ridiculous? You sound ridiculous? I sound ridiculous. So you're telling me I sound ridiculous because you decided to come into work sick, knowing you were sick, not get tested, get everybody else sick, and then you're saying I sound ridiculous? And your proof is where? With Bro. That stinky ass shirt that you got on. Okay, Archie. Right. Okay. You're going on the internet. So the guy filming got his bike stolen, but managed to track the thief, which seems to be that woman, who then proceeds to try and plate contraband in his bike and his car. Watch this. We left our bikes out, and this is like a nice track bike, right? We had another one that was nice like this. Middle of the day. 
Hey, they switch out our bike for this spray painted bullshit with a Domino's. What? All right, so we're gonna go find these people. We'll give you an update. We found her. Don't we video found her. Camera phone out of your you face. will? We're on public property, yeah, man. I don't care. That's my you bike over the there. Right to videotape I'm it. just trying to record no. the bike. Uh, oh, it's not yours. Oh, it's not mine. No, right now it's county property. This oh. Property. Oh, it's county property yeah. now. If really? You call Ricky, get the out of my face Who's with Ricky? your camera phone. Ricky Bobby? Ricky Bobby's not coming to help you. The sheriff, you dumbass. Oh. You're in Manatee County. I am? Piece of shit. Really? Uh, so that's not my bike that you didn't you didn't take that from my house. Nope, it's not yours anymore. Oh, anymore. According to that guy, you got a bill of sale? It's all his shit. Do you have a bill of sale? Do you have a bill of sale? Because you just tried to hit me with your I I K H seventy four, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Hope you got a good memory. I hope somebody comes outside and sees this. This is absurd. You ought to leave. With my bike, I'll leave. So if we give you're gonna ride your bike all the way and have my bike in the back of your car. Go get your bike. You and walk come your dumbass back and get your own bike. Our uh, Our bike's right there. Yeah, that's my bike. So if you want to walk back and get yours, it's still sitting in front of my house. I'll ride this back to your house and get mine. Okay, I'll follow you. That's fair. No, because you're gonna run me over with your. I'm not gonna run car. you over. Yeah. Um. No, I'm not. Hey man, this is absurd. You, uh, you, you want to follow me? Yeah, a judge just judged you. Oh, really? I don't remember where that was. Oh, so you want to follow me? So if we I get... turned off the side road to get away from the main traffic because people were being crazy. You want to follow bike. me back to my house? Yeah. Okay, let's go. This lady is something else, and she gets caught trying to get a free car wash by one of the employees. And when he calls her out for something so embarrassing, she goes full berserk, screaming and throwing out F-bombs as if they were candies. Go ahead. I'm videotaping you. You're a narcissist. You work at a car wash. You need to leave. You're not trying to steal you need a to wash. You need to leave, I'm man. trying to leave, you piece of shit. It's that way. Have a blessed day, ma'am. Back up. I know she needs to leave. She's trying to steal a wash. Are you kidding me? You need to leave, ma'am. I'm about to call the cops. I'm about to call the cops, ma'am. Y'all need to back. Y'all need to back up because she needs to get out of here. Run my car, bitch. It run has my money car. on it. I tried. It has no what money on it. You go that way. From my car. You go that way. Get away from my car. I'm over here. You need to go that way. Quit following my car. You need to go that way. I'm filing a police report about the mace. I got your plate. Have a blessed day. Well, this guy is another Justice League hero harassing people, but he switches completely once his behavior can get him in trouble. I said you're going to paint at the Tanley's house. I said there's no Tanley's that live up the road. I didn't say Tanley, I said Chandler. Tanner? Hey man, look. Th I'm working up the road, bro. I can't go to work. Okay, so this is a private drive. Right, it's a dead end. It's one way in, one way out. Yeah. So why the f would I be going this way if I ain't had no business? It's a good question. Are you bored or something? No, but I live here. What's your name? What's your name? That's cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna text my neighbors up there. Yeah, matter of fact, just follow me. Follow me to the house. 
Yeah. That's what you do. If come on. Working, hey, fine. come if follow me. Follow me to the house real quick. I've had people work at my house, and they can always tell me who's the name of the person. I'm not working at your house, though, so come follow me real quick. Okay, cool. Follow so me. now we're live streaming me or something? You're going to be on the internet awesome. in a second. Hi. Those two friends honk at this lady on her bike, and, well, at that point, they should have known better than to honk at Karen. Why the hell were you honking at me? You're a fuzzy? No. Why are you honking at me? We're fuzzies, I'm sorry. I'm riding on the road. I have a right to ride, ride on the road. I... You better not hit my phone. You got your license plate? All we did was honk, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Help Why us. Be aggressive? We're in danger, sir. I'm not being aggressive. I, I was just meowing at you. Have a good one. <laughs> Where is she going? What is she doing? <laughs> She's being silly. Silly asparagus bitch. Hey, hey, watch this. My this She's going to know I'm so chill. <laughs> <laughs> This Karen is, ladies and gentlemen, at the top of her game, as in, if being the most Karen was an Olympic sport, she'd probably be in the top 100 easily out of the thousands trying their best every day. I'm tired goodbye. of her calling goodbye. me ma'am, and I told Good, her to quit goodbye. calling me that. Goodbye, you and your racist self and can get out I this want, store. I you and your racist self receipt. can get out this store. And I won't be coming you back here. No, no, you don't disrespect me, you don't call me, you don't say that. I you said I quit like that. using that word. Excuse me, you can leave. You can leave because you being a Karen, man, which you being a Karen is unacceptable. Pimp. The fact that you even mentioned that, you don't, you, you don't know what I'm. Receipt, I'm not giving you nothing. And I won't get out of I'm here. not giving you nothing. Okay. You're racist, and that's your problem. We live in a world that we need to come together. You don't know what I'm mixed with, but I can damn if I let you or anybody talk to me like that because it's mad disrespectful. Don't you ever come you to the line and talk to me. Goodbye. You Goodbye, you Karen. Goodbye, Karen. Goodbye, Karen. Goodbye, Karen. Would you please Goodbye, Karen. I got it. I got it. I got it. And I will, uh, I'll go to the mission store. Vanilla. Go to mission. If you go to mission. Receipt, I'd appreciate and best believe I'm going to let okay. everybody know how racist you are. I told you we don't use the word. We don't. You, you don't say it at all. Why do you keep saying it? Well, why do you keep saying why do you keep, it? When it's, you out it's, it's out of respect. It's out of respect. It's a respectable term. And why would, you even, say, why would you even say? Why would you even say that as an example? Could you give me a receipt and I'll just get out? Don't give her nothing, and make sure she never come back in this store. It's sad that we still have racism in 2022. Man, it's very well, she lacks respect. The you lack respect because she's racist. Man, she's racist. Man, Goodbye. Goodbye, Karen. Goodbye, Karen. Goodbye, Karen. Goodbye. Karen. Goodbye. Karen. Goodbye. 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 Racist, Karen. We don't use that word here. I know there are great people working at Burger King. My only question is, why the hell are they hiding themselves so well that they're nowhere to be found? Excuse me, ma'am, who is the manager? What? Who is the manager? Can I please speak to the manager? Huh? Can I please speak to the manager? Can I get a refund right Baby, now? Baby, you about to get your seat? You about to get it. Just Thank wait. you. Okay, wait, you about to get your seat? You're cursing. Are you serious? I'm going to go that side. I'm going to go that side. Are you serious? I'm going to go that side. Stop. Are you? You cannot treat people like this. This is your job. Are you for real? No, I'm fake. I don't know what happened to you today. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you handed me soft serve ice cream and then gave me some garbage, and I'm not really? going to eat really? it. Really? Really? Okay. Get out and you're ahead. rude. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. You are so rude. You are so rude. Go. It's on those cameras, and it's going to be Do not touch me. I'm not taking a picture. I'm making sure that I'm going to be safe whenever I walk out of here. What you mean? What you want to go, though? Go. Bye. I don't give a Go ahead. 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 This place is getting shut down. I will do whatever I can. They don't want to shut down, bro. You took my picture for real? Bitch, you get off get of my foot. You want, you want to get slapped? This is a song. Get get this next one is long but incredibly satisfying. As the woman recording catches her neighbor living right across from her stealing her packages, even though she thought they had a cordial relationship. This is a betrayal of epic proportions. Teresa, your neighbor. Hey. So, check this out. I've been
Oh, said my packages have been missing for the past two weeks, so I literally. Shut up. Yeah. Um. Did so. Boy just left him out the hallway. Huh? I just met a little boy from out the hallway because he was playing in the hallway. He's gonna be in school. I think he lives next business. Yeah. So I've noticed this has been going on for about two weeks now. Mm -hmm. And I've been reporting them. Mm -hmm. So I purposely just put a package right here in front of my door. And I what? was just watching you. And you just picked that package up. So we're going to do one out of three things. You're going to replace every one of my packages no, that you've stolen. That or I'm going to call the police. I'll That's not the that. only one you've taken. And why did you take that? Can you put me in like you do? You gonna give me every last package that you've stolen for the past two weeks. No, or I'm going to report you to the front, to the... Depending no. on the and the Yeah. So you know it so that means you have been stealing my packages. I don't have the other I don't know what you're talking about. How you don't know what I'm talking about when you just mentioned what was missing? How did you know that bra and panties was missing? Because I can you come in? I have your stuff. Why do you have it though? I I apologize. Why do you apologize? I mean, because I should have I done it. I'm, I was just... And what's crazy, it. when one of your packages got accidentally delivered to me out of common courtesy, yeah. I brought it over to you. But the whole time, you're still in my packages? And we're not even the same size, so why are you still in my drawers and my panties? So... Can I just give it back to you and... I'm but even if you give that. it back to me, how do I know that you won't do I this was, again? You, you don't worry about that. I promise. I said to God, on oh, my child, I would not do that again. Because I've never been a nasty neighbor to you. When no, I see you, you I speak. Can I just give your stuff? Please, can I just go get your stuff? I feel, I feel so bad. I don't want to do myself here. Do you really feel bad, though? Yes, I really do. I am so Because I literally just watched you through my peephole just pick my package up. Literally. Really? Am I on neighbor, though? I'm sitting up here thinking maybe it's one of these new people that just moved in the building, but you're my neighbor, and you've been stealing my shit. Are you recording me? Should I be? No, please don't. Like this is my hard-earned money I'm spending, and you just chilling, stealing my shit. I want every last thing. Okay, I got every last thing. And it wasn't just bras and panties. I had okay. bath and body works. Oh, no, I don't. You come look on my dresser. Oh, house. so you saying somebody else stole I that? I don't have that. You come look on my dresser. I don't want to come in your house. I'm not going to come in your house unless the police is present. I don't, I don't know anything on any bath. But that's really f up. I know it is. I'm and I can either report you to police or to the front office to have your ass evicted. I could be a treacherous oh bitch God, because that's go. not right. You I don't just go I steal I people's shit. I want all my shit. Okay. Literally, I want all my shit. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. I can be a bitch. Who Lord. Who Lord. And this was actually the only neighbor in my building that I was cool with. You gotta be kidding me. I said to God, this is all that I got. Please. And what was you gonna do with it? I, you done took it out the package. Have you worn it? These are drawers and panties. I, I don't think it's safe to wear the shit. I mean, you've been stealing for a minute. I thought that this was a scam. <laughs> You gotta be shitting me. I apologize. You gotta be shitting me. Please don't get me in trouble. I apologize. And I will not do it again. I promise you. But why should I have any type of sympathy on you? I know you shouldn't. I know you should, but I won't do it again. I promise I won't. Please don't. Please. I don't even know this. No, like, <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. You need to catch the bus to go to your doctor. You want me to have sympathy for you when you've been stealing shit from me for two weeks? And don't shit about what you're saying right now seems genuine. I'm sorry. I apologize. Where's the bath and body works at? Oh, I didn't get that one. You ain't get that no, one. No, I didn't do that one. I told you you could look on my dresser. I don't. No, I don't that. want to look on your dresser. I'm not gonna step in your house. And who's the other lady that's usually out front that lives here? Cause I know she was the one who lived here originally. I think you just came in not too long after her. Is she the uh, owner of the apartment? My sister. 
Yeah, is that your sister? You see what Yeah. Yeah, that's my sister. Please. Oh my you God. moved in with her? No, we've been here for six years. Oh, okay. Because I know she was the one who I always thought when I first moved in. Yeah, she goes, she works at uh, Target. That's my sister. Please. Does she know that you've been no, stealing my no, shit? Please don't. Please, oh my God, please don't. And baby, please don't. Please. But why you feel bad when you, you, you only feel bad that you got caught? That's my problem. Like, I'm a real genuine person. I'm a Christian woman. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. Because honestly, if I was the old person, I wouldn't knock the f out of you right now. But why should I feel like, why, why do I feel like your apology is genuine? I don't, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what to all I know, you could just be feeling sorry because you got caught because the way that I just watched you do my people, oh, you was real swift with it and you ain't get two shit. And then when I come to you to ask you about it, you gonna blame it on some child. The kids is in school. You gonna blame it. I'm giving you another fair trial to, to confess to the shit and you gonna blame it on a child. But I just watched you steal my shit that I planted in front of my apartment. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. And for legal reasons, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to confirm to you that you are being recorded. Okay. I want you to know that you are being recorded live. And, and there's witnesses to this shit right now. There's witnesses to this shit. So do you understand what type of legal situations that you are facing? Yes, I do. I, do you understand how treacherous I can be? I can knock on every last one of your neighbor's doors in here because I don't know if you get somebody else or if you just got me because I was conveniently right directly across the hall from you. No. It don't make no sense. I had to take off of work just to catch my neighbor stealing my shit. You don't understand how pissed I am right now. I'm going to give myself a minute to calm the down, but I will speak to your sister about this shit as well, and I'll let you know what I decide to do with your ass after this. I'm not all about letting my people be set out and all that, but you just be over for nothing. Go ahead about your business. But this ain't the end of this. I don't even want to hear your apology, but go ahead about your business. This grade A Karen approaches a crew of roofers and threatens to slash all of their tires if they do not start working later in the morning on her days off. On my days off, as I don't appreciate my dogs barking at these guys up on the roof. Okay. Well, would that be a problem? Well, it wouldn't, but today's our last day, so we won't be here anymore. Well, that's better than what that guy just said. But I mean, if I want He said five more to ten more days. <laughs> well, if he's on the job, you better fire him right now. I don't think so. We're allowed to start as early as we like. Nope. Uh, well, I believe we are. Oh, yeah, you are. We don't but usually start before seven. You are, but I'm telling you, on my days off, if you keep it up, you're going to have keep some Keep what flat, up? You're going to have some flat tires in the Just neighborhood. Keep what up, though? <laughs> All we're doing is roofing. All we're doing is roofing, dear. Noise. I live in the other half of okay, that. Okay, I, I, I yeah. understand. So my dogs are watchdogs. Yeah. Well, we so never I started until 8.30 this morning. Make it 9 tomorrow. <laughs> okay, you have a great day. If you don't. You're going to flatten my tires? Yeah, I will. <laughs> Anything that is sitting here is going to have a flat tire. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> The manager here in the blue shirt believes that our filming person here is a monkeypox because of a birthmark on the face and decides to call the cops, so we get this mess. Hey, this is Tanya. Um, I accidentally thought a customer had that new monkeypox disease out there, but she didn't, so I said I was sorry. Well, she starts staring at me. I'm asking her to leave. She's refusing to leave. And she's recording me as we're talking. So. Call mom security yeah. or in the physical department if she refused to leave. If she's threatening you or if she's. Yeah, she's telling me to physically move her. I said, no, I'm not going to do that. Now she's holding my line up so I'm going to be able to cash out. I told her, I'm not cashing her out. 
So she's walking where I'm at. Okay, call the police department and call the security as well. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, she 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 said, and I guess you just have to go in here for the room. Oh, Lord. But it is a dumb dog. No, I know. And I said sorry. You didn't say like, sorry. What yes, you I said, did. oh, you have the new virus that's going around. You said yeah. I have the monkey pox that I need to leave the, the store. You said, that you you said I and need so to I leave. Right, right, that I need to leave. Yeah. Hi, my name is Tanya Potter. I work at the um, Cuscates Mall on Five Below. I have a customer here that's giving me a problem leaving my store because I thought she had that new disease out there, monkeypox. And so I told her I was sorry for thinking that, but it was burns, I guess, on her face. And she swore at me, she swore at me, she called, um, holding up my line, she won't leave the store. So my the head boss told me to call you this. She's here, she's recording me, she's refusing to leave. Because you'll be in a car. Uh, Guyanese, uh, gray shirt on. I'm not Guyanese. Um, there you are. Um, uh, yeah, she assuming everything. Sandals. Army pants, a brown purse. She's either Guyanese or Indian. Well, I asked Tanya Potter. I told her I was sorry. You and didn't say you were sorry. You said way, I have the monkey pox and I need to leave the building. She said, get the f out of my face. Da -da -da. And I was like, you need to leave now. All right, thanks. Bye. Hey, you guys have to get on the wall security because I don't know that. Yeah. This is not going to be me in my position. Put it down over there. I have. Put it down because as soon as they cast out, they're going to leave. And I'm not going to have nothing to go on with cops. All right? You'll be on social media. Oh, yeah, no, that's not you for going. This is not refusing to fight for me. You're together or you're being yes, separate? They're together. She's separate from me. I'll cash that out. She was getting this stuff. That's fine. I'm not cashing out her stuff. I'm buying from the store. I'm not keeping it. No, you. I'm going to cash you out. Your stuff that you just bought. Yeah, I'm paying Not for hers. It. Is it going to be $14.53 money? I didn't, I didn't add the rope box. You got to add it. She just told me I got monkeypox and I need to leave the building because of my face. I have keloids. Okay, so in this one we have a couple that gets into a movie level food fight with the woman in the back, and this whole thing just keeps on getting worse. Thankfully for us, a nice listener decided to record the whole thing. Thank you. 
woman and her mom went to her apartment complex office to complain about an employee giving her a hard time for her service dog, which is absolutely there for a good reason, as we'll learn, but this does not go as she thought it would. Hi, is Amy here? She is. Where is she? She is in the back. Okay, I need to speak to her. Okay. Somebody asking for you? I'm not. What? What's the problem with my service dog going to the bathroom? Are you going to come in here with an attitude with me? First of all, you disrespected my mom. I'm asking you a question. What's the problem with my service dog going to the bathroom? You call your landlord. What, what does that mean? If you have a problem, we don't deal with You just told her you, that she, my service dog can't poop right there if we, we're picking it up. I asked you guys to be discreet about... We don't need to be discreet. It's a you service dog. Discreet, my dis my disability is not discreet, is it? My disability is not discreet. So I don't need to be discreet about my service dog. If I have to hear anything else, I'll get my lawyer involved. Thanks. Go ahead and get your lawyer. And you can get yours too. All I have to do is call and Okay. Okay. Yep. Evict me because my service dog is going to the bathroom. Good luck with that legal case. Good luck. It's an emotional dog? You know what my disease is called? You know what my disease is called? It's called myelinolipodendrocyclicoprotein antibody disease. I don't think that's emotional, honey. I was blinded and paralyzed, okay? I go through frequent bouts of paralysis. That's not emotional. And right now, that's very illegal. I have it on video, so if you want to keep talking, I would love that. It doesn't so matter. much more. Let's go. No, she's not going to, she's not, uh, my disability is not discreet. This is not worth I don't this. Need, I, Let's go. I don't need to be discreet. When you first moved in, I asked you, can you please take the dog? Can I hold, hold, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I need to talk now. And I said, I, I need, need to tell you something. It I left out. out of here Monday and got into a car accident going out of this complex. That's the reason why I wasn't down at the dog park today. There was a huge boulder in the middle of the road some kids pushed it in the middle of the street where you guys don't have lights down there and i got into an accident i usually go down to the dog park but you caught me going out here today but i was in an accident so i couldn't drive down to the dog park and you know what i'm probably going to talk to you guys about that too because you guys should have that lit up down there and you don't okay so back to the original it. issue My, I I don't, an accident. it's not an emotional support and dog you know what? Look, Right now, it's illegal to no, do what she's no, doing. I don't, I don't care. care. I don't want to hear her. I don't care. Anymore. She knows she's wrong. That's why you can't do anything. Try to evict me for that. Stupid. You're we deal with the owner. Okay. Okay. You better. What is? Are you kidding me? My dad just died. All right, bitch. Stupid. You're an idiot. Wow. While this woman creates pure chaos at your favorite pizza place, notice as some people around enjoy their pizza as if it were a normal Thursday night with nothing unusual.
Get out! 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 Get out!
How many times have I told you not to walk on my fucking property? Like four times. Why do you do it? Because the sidewalks. Because work. you're fucking stupid. Step on my fucking property again, and I'll beat the shit out of you. And this concludes our episode. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's funny? No, I don't. Obviously, did you do? I don't think it's funny. I think you're kind of overreacting. No! I don't come walk on your property. Don't walk on my property. So this cameraman right there recorded himself being fired, and it's important to note that he believes this is a wrongful termination. Go ahead. Um, the other day we had a situation and I had asked you your side of the story regarding right. the customer that needed that little AT&T box fix right. or their password reset. Okay. Um, that being said, when I had asked you your side of the story, you had flat out refused to help her. Um, in your words was that you told her to Google it, which I understand in the moment you were busy with customers and you couldn't attend to her right away. Um, but the way that you handled it was not the way that you, were, you should have handled it. Um, what, what did I do? You, like I told you when we discussed it, you were being rude um, to the customer, as she told me. And so you're taking her word for it? No, I confronted. I remember I talked about it, and so I got her side, and I said, "Well, let me talk to those associates. What's going on?" So I came and gave you the, the benefit of the doubt. And the response that you gave me was rude in terms of dealing with a customer when we work in retail. So we do a he said, she said now? No, this is what you told me. You're a personal account of what happened. You told me verbatim that you told her that you, if you can't, you told me, what did you tell me? Yeah, I if told her I don't read, care. I told her I don't care if she says that I'm rude because I did do my job. I did help her. That's exactly what I said. I told you that. Right. And I still don't care okay. because she could tell you I punched her. And I don't care because I didn't do anything to her. I helped her. Okay. Don't care. So. I did my job. You can't not care in this business. At the end of the day, you have to take care of the associates. So I understand in the moment. I, let me, I'm talking. Let me talk and then I can give you the floor. I understand in the moment you were busy. I understand that. We can't always help everyone at the same time. But the way that you went about the situation was not correct. Um, you can't just tell a customer Google it. If they knew to just Google it and read for themselves, they wouldn't come to you for help. So in that situation, the better route would have been to either ask, to ask her to wait until you were done with the customers or to call somebody else for backup. Um, your words to me were, if she can't read, that's not your problem. No, I did not say that. Should have recorded me. And I know I exactly what people. I said. Okay, what did you say? I said that she didn't want to read. Then, and she wants okay. me to read it for her. This is a, we're in the electronics. This is a business where I'm by myself. You're constantly going to be by yourself. You have to be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of high activity. Mm -hmm. So for you to say for me to think that I could just come into my work and that there would be any help, that's not the case. You have to be prepared to, to be by yourself. And I was prepared to handle everything on my own. I don't look forward to my backup. I don't think the managers are going to come and help me. Okay. And I showed her the list. I was very kind to her. I'm on camera going back and forth between customers. Five times I went to her. At no point did I say, ma'am, I cannot help you anymore. I did not say that. Okay. And so I gave her all the information, step by step, hot spot. I laid my phone down for her so she could read it. So the thing is, reading something and understanding it are two different things. You might be able to read something and understand it. Not everyone is the same way. Sometimes they need that extra guidance, especially the fact that she was significantly older than both you and I. So telling her to read it, you maybe she has a issue with reading. She didn't tell me that. She doesn't have to. That's her personal business. The point is, at the end of the day, she came to an associate who was supposed to help her, and she didn't feel like she got the help that she needed. Yeah, I have a job to do, so I really don't have time to be asking for all this help or to be like, you know, consulting for Best Buy. This is not Best Buy where we could just where we get a commission to do all this work for them. That's not how it works. At the end of the day, Christian, we are in retail. We are here to serve our customers. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So. Comparing it to Best Buy, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But at the end of the day, this situation that we're talking about right now, 
you did not handle it correctly. And not only did you not handle it correctly, this is not the first time that this has been an issue. So I didn't handle it correctly because I told you that I didn't care that she lied to you, that I was rude. That's where we're at. Because that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. She lied to you, straight up lied to you. And I'm sorry I don't have time to, to stop my lying. And for that's a lot of pressure on me. So, the clock is ticking. I never asked you to stop your line. I, when I came and talked to you about it, you had not a single customer in electronics. I asked you then, because she was still waiting, can you come and help her? You flat out refused. Yeah, because she said I was rude. So why would I help somebody that's already upset with me? She wasn't upset. She just needed extra help and you didn't. And why, why didn't you help her? I did help her. You're the but, free one. I'm not free. You're free. You can do all these things. Okay, Christian. So we're going to stop it right there. Because number one, you don't know what my job entails, nor do I need to disclose it to you. Number two, that's your area. And we're all responsible for the same thing, taking care of our customers. And so based on the situation and the outcome of it, and the fact that we've had numerous encounters like this before, I am letting you go. Okay. So you are free to take it up with another coach or store manager if you so desire. But as of today, I am terminating you. Okay. Alrighty. Thanks for doing me a favor. Thank you. Um, I just need your best in your badge, sir. The woman here was caught shoplifting, and her excuse is that she was checking her butt crack. So I guess the item got lost or something. Open the door. I'm listening. I'm not opening the door. Come on, Randy. Please get out of these people's service. Can you please call the police? I'm going to call the police. Well, y'all call the police because I'm telling you, look. You said I stole something. I put something down here, baby. I was digging in my tail. That's what I was doing. I was digging down here. I'm going to show you. I was digging. I got a pad on. I ain't put nothing down here. Now y'all finna get in trouble and show the police the camera. I was digging in my tail. That's what I was doing. Digging. You finna go to jail. I was digging. I got a hole I want to show you. Man, I, man, what, what's good? I, I'm play. recording this week so you can have for your uh, evidence. But please keep recording and please play. send that to me, boo. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know why she's doing this. Mm -hmm. She don't like me because she's going to never her sister mm -hmm. man before her sister, mm -hmm. boo. All about her ugly behind mm -hmm. Billy. Girl, Billy Jean, girl. Jean Davis. Uh, mm -hmm. the, all about a man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That I ain't messed with in over 10 years. Baby, move. Baby, move, baby. Baby, move, baby, move nope, please. Nope, nope. The police taking forever to get him. They coming. No, you need to move from this door. You're locking me in here to my stove. So what I like, but what did I steal? What did I steal? Why was you digging down there, ma'am? Cause I'm out there and my coochie was itching. And I have a right to scratch it cause I'm grown. And I have a whole damn pen, a lot of pad on. It didn't look like you were scratching down there. I know what I was doing, baby. There ain't nothing down there, is it? Is there something down there? Drones. They on the way. It don't matter. Y'all finna get in trouble. Cause ain't nothing down there. Like nothing ain't even down there but a damn pad. They accuse me of stealing. And she, and listen, I'm gonna tell you like this. They finna get sued. I'm about to put my hands on them and go to jail. I'm trying to put my hands on you. I'm trying to put my hands on you. Baby, you listen, I'm gonna tell you like this. Please move. Please move from this door. Please move from this door. I'm gonna ask you now. Please move from this door, ma'am. Please move and let me out of here. Please move, ma'am. I'm trying not to hurt you, ma'am. I'm trying not to hurt you, ma'am. Please move from this door. They try to say I was stealing. They try to say I was stealing, baby. Hold on. Cause open that door for that lady. No, open that door for that lady. Y'all finna get in trouble. I'm telling you. No, yeah, thank you. You better listen. I'm telling you, I'm gonna put my hands on you, baby. They think I'm gonna have a lawsuit. Cause I ain't got nothing on me, y'all. Nothing on me. None of here belong to them. They said toothpaste. Please get this. They said toothpaste. Ain't none down here on me. But a damn pad. But I sold y'all pad. They baby, y'all, I'm waiting for them because y'all finna get sued. Y'all finna get sued. I'm telling you, move out the way. I will wait in my car. Move out the way. I will wait in that car for him to come. Y'all not finna. Come on, Randy, get up messing with they stuff for they say you done stole something. I'm already mad, baby. You finna get these hands put on you. I know what I was doing. I was digging down in my tail because it's itchy. And you gonna tell me I'm putting something in there. We seen you, man. No, you didn't see nothing. You. you didn't even run no camera. Where are you coming from? I didn't run the camera back in the Okay, we gonna run. Hey, they finna y'all finna get sued. You ain't seen none in my. You seen me who walked by with I had a toothpaste, looking at it, and then you walked back by when I was digging in my tail, and you thought I put something in there. That's what it was. No, man. But now y'all finna get in trouble all because of a man. This little girl been have get, did, did never like me, never like me. I ain't even know you work here. I wouldn't even came here. 
Baby, don't record. That woman is blocking a parking spot, so that's all we need to know to evaluate with precision how low she is on the scale of respectability in society. But then she goes a step further, or, should I say, lower, by threatening to tell her husband. And I guess he will not be happy with this. Hold on. Hold on. No, back away, please. This guy, I mean, I don't even need to say it, acts and talks tough to the other passengers as if he wasn't some waste of oxygen on two legs. Yeah, 
I swear to God. Hey, don't come over here. Yeah. You, stay, you can talk all that shit from over there. Yeah. Don't come hey, here. I'm going to come here in the airplane. Nah, don't come I, over I, here. You I, I, you cop, homeboy. Let me get your ass up, boy. Well, you on my phone now. Oh, you cop or something? Yeah, all what that. What do you need to rent a cop on your home? What you need a tattoo? All that. Gang banging or what, homie? Yep, Gang banging? Yep. Where you from, homie? Yep. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? I'm You're from, a cop I'm or from what, where, homie? Wherever you don't like, that's where I'm from. Where I'm from? Yep. Yeah. 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 They shouldn't have let him on the plane in the first place. Everyone is. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 like we're You ain't got to be. You watch a couple movies or something? Yeah, all right? of them. You grow tall or something? All man? of them. That's how it is? Yeah. You're going to see them get handcuffed and fly down. Right? Sit your goofy ass down. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how is it that he could hear the person filming behind him just fine, and why drive a loud car if you can't hear crap? I can't hear you! I'm 70 years old! I can't hear you! Speak up! I can't hear you! What'd you say? Pull forward, please. I'll pull forward when I decide. Not when the dog's truck decides. How's that? You got a problem with that? I don't know what your problem is, buddy. Come on, let's go. I don't know what your problem is. You're holding us all up. Where the hell are you going? You ain't going nowhere anywhere. I ain't holding nobody up. This father catches a 20-year-old employee of this nice store using slurs on his 10-year-old son and decides to teach him a lesson about human decency. I carry myself with honor. I would never disrespect any human being or call them outside of their name. That of what you did. You don't know the impact of what you've done to my son. But maybe you were unaware. Maybe you were. It, it doesn't matter about you noticing me. You shouldn't be speaking that way, period. So if you know that, then why do that, man? All I heard, I thought hurt my leg. You hurt your leg, and you said. I didn't even know you were listening to what I'm saying. I am. How long have you worked here? Over 20 years. Over 20 years, and you're acting that way. You don't know. You don't. You don't know what straw could break the camel's back. You don't know. But you disrespected myself. Disrespected my family, but I would never do your children or your family or even you or no human being that way. I would never treat anybody that way. But I want you to know, man to man, that shit's not. And you don't know what young man. I have grace and honor. And I was raised with morals and values, but I lost a lot. I lost my mother. I lost my mother-in-law. I lost my sister. All that shit. 
You don't know what mental state the next human being could be in. And it wouldn't be a cop. It wouldn't be a, a security guard. It wouldn't be nobody that could stop me from getting on your ass if I wanted to. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I want you to know that. Think about that. It doesn't matter about the age. Treat human beings with respect and morals and values. You understand that? Now, I have to go home and correct my 10-year-old not to be a damn idiot. Don't act a fool. Don't be like Homer. Homer don't have respect for my kind or any human being. This ain't a black and white issue. This is an idiot issue. And I want it to be addressed. So I told your supervisor, we have you, we have everybody heard you say it. So I want the whole store to know you was dead wrong. And I just bought this stuff at dealers with Homer working here. I wouldn't treat anybody like that, man. And you're dead wrong. So may God bless you and you keep moving forward and I'll pray for you, Homer. Thank you. Peace and blessings. So the people filming are accused of not being from the neighborhood by a high level of Karen, as she does not recognize them, asks for a copy of their lease as they told her they just moved in three weeks ago. But even though they obviously do not have a copy of their lease on them, and since Karen seems to think she owns the neighborhood, cops are being called. <coughs> I'm Where your husband at? Interact with her. If you guys have a lease, I'd just like to see the lease. No, ma'am. have no business for real. personal documents. At all. They're like in their 30s. Yes, yes. It's just a medium weight. They're the f we got to steal something for. Babe, what's that? What do we need? Get to. <laughs> okay. I, it looks like there's been a misunderstanding. So, apparently there's been a misunderstanding when i was driving by i saw an individual behind the house and so i stopped and profiling and and all the windows are closed and it looks it's polished like the sun is beaming and so i'm like shocked and i'm like okay and so then i back up and then i see an individual crouched again and i'm like um, hi, like, what are you doing at my neighbor's house? And then... And I greeted you, didn't I? What's that? And I greeted you, didn't I? So that's when I called 911 because I'm like, okay, like, this isn't my neighbor. He said that he has a lease and now he's got his phone and he's recording me, so... Um, okay. Yeah, cops are here. No. Uh, no. And, and the cops are here. You did all this yeah. for somebody that lives here and pays rent here. Yeah. Grown ass man. Okay. You driving your car down the street. What's up? Thank you. Uh, so I guess this woman was harassing my partner. Here. Oh, please. No. We literally called the cops on the you place you where we live because we saw on, a bro. black man walking the house. Come on, bro. Oh, we can stand right here, bro, to be honest. This well, is my man, house. Okay, I just want him to separate from her so we can talk. He's on our side. Without her yelling at us. That's good, Dave. Okay. So, what's going on? Uh, I guess she doesn't believe that we live here. We moved here three weeks ago. About three weeks uh, ago. Annette Williamson and Randy Williamson are the property owners. Okay. We have a lease. Okay. That's a really weird issue to have. I was standing behind my house, right here. She pulls up, she stops. Okay. Uh, what do you mean? I wave, and she pulled off. I heard her car still humming right here. She got a me in that bitch. She, I heard her car still humming, so I went inside, and I came outside. Okay. And she asked me what I was doing here. I said, I live here. I, I walked back outside, because I peeped through the window, and I seen her right here. So I walked back outside, and I asked her, did she need something? Mm -hmm. And she said, yes, I do. What are you doing behind my, my neighbor's house? I said, I live here. These neighbors? I don't know. who, Whoever she talking about. She said, whoever lives here got two kids, and they don't. We live here. Right. Excuse me. I'm, I'm, you guys all moved in or just starting to move uh, in? Or all our stuff's in the garage. Some of it's in the house. The footage that you're about to see is the aftermath of an incident that was recorded on a dash cam by the people who are filming this video while the furious couple making a scene at this restaurant are mad as they seemingly were trying to park somewhere but got blocked by the others for whatever reason. So we get this. 
Gabby, I think you have to take more of those times. Give me a phone. She's 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, that's good. Yeah. Why not call the police? Oh, okay. Yeah, I come yeah, yeah. here. I want to know. We are mad. We are angry. Very angry. Because you of your behavior. Us? That's fine. That's because fine. of your behavior. That's fine. Why are you I would like to let us? you know our feeling. That's okay? fine. That's fine. You do some harm to other people. That's why we keep going here to let you know our feeling. Is okay. angry. Let me meet him again. Yeah, because they're angry. Stop harassing They are us. bad he, behavior. He, he, I know. Because these two customers do harm to us. We are angry. We don't know. Yeah, she took our phone. He took our phone and do not apologize. Okay, he took right. outside. Right? That's wrong. And she's happy, you know. They are happy. She's happy. They were happy. They're they're happy. happy. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're happy. happy. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. They're yeah. They're yeah. I just want to let you know that we have, a, we have a dash cam that recorded yeah. your car. Yeah, show police the evidence. Yeah, yeah. We, I'm here to let you know if you call please, I will be here. Yeah. Oh, no, right. no, we here. Oh, you, you said you will call please. Yeah, yeah, why not call? No, why not call? No, 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 no. no. I said if you, keep us, please. Please. Okay. if you keep harassing us, okay. I will call the police to remove you from the vicinity, okay? That's not harassed because you call you're literally us. harassed. You call us wrong. That's why we are calling. I didn't let you know it's wrong. You guys can see Let you know you are wrong. Did you say Our feeling is mad and angry. You hurt our feeling. Okay. That's why I'm trapped here. Do you want a trophy? Right. Call the police and uh, we will show them the evidence. We yeah, will we will spend two or three hours yeah, today yeah, yeah. You have a dash to cam? discuss that. Do you have, have a dash cam? You have a dash cam. We have a camera in the car recording it. Yeah. Okay. Just and it showed that you guys did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah no, no worries. No worries. No worries. No worries. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. I don't have, but you have, you said, it's okay. You show no me the evidence. Yeah. yeah. You show okay. me. Just show, just show police the evidence. Okay, for sure. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah. Call, call them, call them, call them. Call them, where, where, call, 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 call them. Why are you not call them? Why are you not call them? You, 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 you say you will call them, right? You want to? Yeah. I don't know how you want to. You threatened us by calling the police. We have called police 20 times ago. I said, I said if you harass us, don't do not threaten us. If you no, no, harass no, no, us, threaten us that's why. if you harass us, yeah. if not. you harass us, what's the what's the consequence? Yes. If what's you harass us, yes. Mm -hmm. That's disrespectful. Uh huh. What's the consequence? According that's disrespectful. To the law. According to the California you're law, me. Yeah. you're what's threatening the me, so I'm yeah. allowed to call the police if you yeah. are harassing me. Yeah, yeah. If you no, come no. in yelling at me while I'm eating, police will come and hear our story. If you hear your story, they will give us the But okay. I will tell you, police will not come here. Okay, either. for sure. Wait, no, yeah. no, call my phone. Okay, for sure. This, this you I'm gonna eat my food. You can stand there and yell at me. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, eat my food. That's true. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let well, know. Let know. This is a two for one encounter with someone who seems to be quite on the provocative side for no apparent reason, but you decide. No, I'm okay. good. Well, you were videoing me, and so I don't approve any of your information for anything to be posted anywhere. Do you understand? Uh, I don't need your approval. Yeah, actually, you do. No, I don't. Okay. No. So, See you later. All right. Go ahead, go home. So. You off work now? Cool. Yeah, I don't need your approval. Thank you very yeah, much, though. Yeah, you do if you're recording me, sir. Uh, Have ne a good day. Negative. I'm in public. So are you. I wasn't while I was on that ground, sir. I can see you from public, though. That's oh, the way the law okay. works. That's how that works, yeah. sir. All right, you have a fabulous day. You okay? too. You're dismissed. Bye. Oh, no. You're dismissed, sir. Have a nice day. <laughs> I just got dismissed. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. How about you? I'm good. I just saw the camera stuff that you're out here filming, so we're just making sure everything's cool. Can I have your name and badge number, please? Nope. You got your ID on you? Uh, you have to give me your name and badge number, sir. Oh, it's well, in your hold policy. On. Let, let me talk real quick. Uh, you have ID on you? I'm ask, identify yourself to me first. Okay, I'm I am a Mr. private Machado. citizen. Uh, well, if you're going to talk okay, over you're me, a public I'm servant. Talk. I'm just I'm just letting you know, so I'm being respectful. Can, can, can I talk? You can now. Okay, I'm Officer uh, Machado, badge, badge number, number 1682. Cool. Uh, everything good with you? I'm good. Okay, do you got ID? Uh-huh. Do you have ID? Am I being detained? No. Okay. I'm just asking you a question. Then I don't have ID. Cool. All right. As long you as you're good. As long as you're good, not running in the lot or anything, we're good. Okay. Thank you for your professionalism. I appreciate it. No problem, sir. So this man starts to get on the nerves of people as he starts preaching his religion to a clearly exhausted audience in a crowded subway. If you don't mind, all right, I'm not here to offend anyone. I'm here to give you hope. My name is Philip Blair. I'm from the United States. 
I want to talk to you about where you're going in life, right? We're all rushing through life. We're all on a train. We're all going somewhere. I want to ask you, what is the purpose of your life? Are you living to work and working to live? I know what it's like to strive on the corporate ladder, okay? But I have left everything and I've been to over 28 countries in the last two years to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm not trying to talk to you about religion. I'm here to talk to you so that you might have hope for tomorrow and every day that follows. Because many of you are hurting and you're going to the wrong places. We care more about saving the whales than we care about saving our unborn children. We care about uh, yeah, how thanks, deep our- Thanks, Thank you. Nope, I'm not gonna stop because I love you that much, okay? <laughs> we have to return to living in a moral way. Our children we do not have are to going up. Anyway, thank Our you. children are you growing up. You have no up. more right than You're anyone okay? else on this bus. Just shut up. No. Yeah, shut up. No. This train. The Three minutes of your time. All right. Three minutes of your time. Fear. Oh, worry, mate, if you ask for our time, we have the right to say no. We're not giving it to you. So it's all to do with Why are you so triggered, my friend? Why are you trying to just shut up? Because I love you that much. Be quiet. I know. Someone and one day you're going to stand before the throne of God, and you're going to account for everything that you have done. Repent, Sydney, for your sin. Sweet Repent while it's before it's too late. There's power in the name of Jesus to change your life. I care about you. That's why I'm telling you the truth. There's only one name under heaven given to us whereby we can be saved is Jesus Christ. I'm here because I care about you. You have one more stop and I'm leaving. Oh, thank All right? God. Oh, thank God. We're going to one day stand before God. We're going to account for everything you are, we've done. Mate. That's fine. No, you're, that's when you die, good. you're not going to cease to exist. Yeah, that's right. And he's that's exactly bring, right. That's now, I'm not forcing my opinion on everyone in this train. Sure you do. So why don't you just take your opinion and keep it to yourself? It's not an opinion, it's the truth. It's your truth. Okay? So do you think truth is allowing our children to make their own decisions at five, six, seven years old? Do you think Where did that come from? Did I mention children? All I said was, can you shut up? Facing. Why are you so angry? Wants to hear what they just what they just it's not an opinion. I care about you, my friend. I care about yeah. you. Just Apparently not about our opinions, because we'd like you to shut up. <laughs> Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. That's it. Well, I like there you. is no other way to God. It's not about religion. It's about a relationship with the Creator of heaven and earth. He created you, and yet you rebel against Him. You run, because the pleasures of this life and the taste of sin is too great. All he wants you to do is love him. He doesn't want you to do anything else except love him and have a relationship All with him. All I want you That's to do is shut up and leave me alone. No one wants to hear it, bro. Be quiet. A lot of people hear it. Then can't you go and stand on the street with your signs and wait for people to come? And I've done that. Maybe give a sign and give a book so it I've been in prisons in El Salvador. I've been in the slums of India. I've been in... Nobody cares. Okay, we all have our stories. Sure. I'm not trying to inflict mine on you, so just shut up, please. And you wonder why the world is the way that it is. I wonder why you won't pay any attention to the people who are asking you to keep your opinion to yourself. Because I care about your soul. One day you're going to die Man, and you're not listening. God. It's I am great listening. that you care, I love but you. I don't want you to I tell me this shit, you. okay? I don't care if you love me. I, I don't that. know you. I know that, but true love loves freely. It doesn't have to be returned. Right? You're angry. I'm not angry. You sound angry. I am not. Oh. I'm angry that you're so desensitized to the evil around you. That your children are suffering and you don't care. All you care about is making more money. All you care about is more sin. Don't you don't care about anything. It's a selfish right. world that you live in. And you need to repent. Because people Who's are Who's the selfish one suffering. here, mate? Who's the one who won't shut up with their opinions? <laughs> you're, How selfish you're giving that? Your opinion right <laughs> you're cheering, but it's crazy. You're, wrong you're the right selfish right one because you won't shut up. Right. I'm the selfish one. Yes. Can you not see that? You're no. forcing your opinion on everyone in this train. Yep. Right. We are asking you to shut the f up. And do you? No. How selfish is that? Your And one day we shall know the truth. Well, I'd like to give sure. my, my testimony. I used to be a Buddhist for 27 years of my life. And uh, oh, no. I became a Christian um, 
the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. He saved me, and I received the Holy Spirit. And it's nothing like meditation. It's nothing like all the occult things I used to do. The Holy Everybody Spirit asked. is the, is the true yeah, Spirit But you'll go to a psychic or a tarot card reader believe that. But you won't believe in the Creator of Heaven Who Earth. Who says I believe in a psychic? I'm not saying you. I'm saying this is what society is. This is the world we live in. This is a college dorm hall. And this guy's wheels were stolen off of his scooter, and he finds himself around these girls. And, well, he's not physically aggressive, but he's way too aggressive, nonetheless. <laughs> hey, okay, calm down. Let's just calm down. Um, you, I don't care if you bring that kid up with you when you give me the wheels. No You're bringing that kid up there, okay, all right? No one's here. Right? No, no one's here. No one's here. No one's here. Can you call the RA on duty? Because this is an incident we can do on the duty log. And they will help you out. They can call this, the community director on duty. And this can go up to higher levels. But I can't do anything other than ask my residents if they have them. I can go door to door asking them I right now. No, 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 no. no one's gonna open the door. Okay. There's an RA on duty. There is an RA on duty. I can give you their phone numbers. I can call them with you if you want. All right. Yeah? Oh, do it. Okay. Go buy new wheels. Shit, all right? Go buy new wheels. Bitch, I want my wheels right now. Don't call me a bitch. Stop. 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 What is wrong with you? Okay. Stop it. She doesn't want to talk shit to me, but I can't talk shit because back. Is that what you're saying? You talk shit, but you can't okay. lunch. Why don't you guys go back oh, to the Oh, I'm sorry. Did I, did I make this contact with us? You, you okay. were lunging okay. at me. You need to stop. Okay, let's just. Why don't you guys go to your room? I. We don't need to do that. I'm right here. Okay? I'm helping you out. I just need to do this stuff. I don't want to go along with you. In this recording, we have a special one as a woman records her confrontation with a cashier at a gas station, and things start to go off sideways real quick, way more than you'd expect at the beginning. Oh, so you don't speak that's to customers? Listen, that's all. I just say hello. I say hello too. You never say hello to me. Like you have been hired, but I don't. Oh, I didn't hear? Oh, I didn't hear? Oh, okay. So I wouldn't ask you. This processor is waiting for you. No, it's not processing. It's, you want to pay cash? You yeah, get cash, cash. cash. That's right. You know, somebody say hello, you should say hello back. I mean, that's common courtesy. Receipt, please. You know, it's just common courtesy. Is it? You know, I don't, I don't, you know, what you eat don't make me shit, and what I eat don't make you shit. But if I come here and say hello, and you never you say it, I just ask a question. You have a new question. No, I never ask you a question. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, because about the lottery? You know who I am? Do you know me? Yeah. Do I look familiar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I always use credit card outside. You have two little kids, too. I know you. Yeah, I yeah. do. That's why. But I, I asked you a question about you speaking to me? No, no. You always come here and you have a new question every time. What's the new question? I mean, I don't understand. Cause... You come here and you say, oh, your card is not working. Why I come inside? Something. Like, every time, not good. It's, you can understand. Every time, not good. What? It's okay. Like don't you talk with me no, like no, that. Me no, like you that. don't talk with me like that. You don't tell me I'm not good. He like said, that. you told me I'm not good. You, you can talk I asked him, I like said, that. you don't speak to me. I spent a lot of money here. And I said, you don't speak to me. And he said, oh, and now he said, like, I'm not good. Because you say, I'm not good. So I'm going to tell you I'm about yourself. You that you are not good you, oh, my God. You just said, I'm not good. I didn't say you. What I just said, when I come here, I said, are you the owner? No. I said, are you the owner? He said, I'm a manager. I said, why you never speak back? Because I come, I say, hello. And he don't speak back. He said, I don't have to speak back. He said, when you come in here, you got kids, you're not good. But I was like, that's common courtesy. You speak to people. Yeah, okay. But that's rude. I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. Say hi back in this nothing else. Yeah, yeah. If you spend money in a place, it should be respectful. But he tell me I'm not good. He tell me not good. He you said, because I asked him about the credit card. Like yeah, I told you why after you, you tell me I'm not good. Hey, hey, man, man. You said I wasn't good. So I said, I'm man, not from you your country. Because like I said it. Because you said it about me. 
So you don't act good. Okay. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. And I told you. So take it and shove it up your ass. He's disrespectful. I come here so many times. I said, you can't speak. If I have an issue with you, I'm not going to cuss your race. And I'm not going to talk. I'm not he said, I'm not good. And, and I'm not I gonna, spend money here. I'm not hey, good. You need to listen to people too. You, if you raise noise, if you don't like service, please go somewhere else. Oh, I will. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, and y'all on record. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm very yep. polite. You cannot talk. I'm not anybody. even talking. You don't know what the hell I said for one. Don't jump the gun on me. I don't play with you people. You're very nice. You're very polite. I don't give a f what you say. No, no, no. You I, jumped I the gun on me. I can tell. I oh, he never ran my way, do he? I, you jumped the gun I, on me. I you to, can't tell nothing. I no, to you can't you tell don't. me nothing. Okay, no, so you can't tell me nothing. No, I am going to relax. I'm going okay. to go home. Okay. I'm going to do what I have to do. Okay. But I'm going to tell you, don't you jump the gun with me because you came to take up for your nationality. I, 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 you, this is your business. If I tell you that the man should speak, all I said is, huh? Hello? I said, I said, That's it. This one will give you your weekly slice of property line dispute as this guy apparently got some landscaping just done on his yard and he just goes off at what's happening here. Chat, you took my lawn up. Is that your lawn? That's my lawn. Okay. You took it up. All right. What are you going to do about it? Okay. You're not supposed to come across my lawn anymore. It's my property. Where's the property line? At the it is? Okay. Yeah. All right. You should know that. No, I don't know that. Then you should know. Well, you should talk to the builder. That's then don't nice. go back and cross. That's nice language. You know what? You're an ass. You're usually a nice guy, but that's my property, and you just ruined it. Let me tell you something. You stay off my property. Let me tell you something. Stay off my property. You better be careful what stay you say. Stay off my property. Okay. You're on it, by the way. You are out of control. You're out of my property. Look at you. You're on my property. Are you sure do you know where the property line is? I just had a survey. See the peg? See that right there? That's your steak? That's, that's steak. That steak's yours where? That one right there? How come he doesn't go property? Huh? There's an easement right here. Just because this is an easement, I could have come right through here. Yeah. Right there is our drainage easement. It's on the other side of that. On the side of that. It's right there. Show me on the map. Yeah. He just went across my backyard. What should listen? What should be work? We'll fix it. Do you really pay for this shit that I got? Do you think that I wouldn't fix something? We just had all this, all this shit. I could have came through here, the easement, but I didn't. It is it. This is a public easement. You're not a public person. I am a public. You're not a public person. That's a public easement for the city. It is a drainage easement. It's for the city, not you. It's for whoever does work, and we work for the city. You don't work for the city. I want to see that. Let me see your contract, you liar. You work for him. You're going to give yourself a heart attack there, buddy. You, over nothing. Mike, the property's on the other side. That easement stopped when I bought the house. <laughs> Rick, fill up your ass. Because that should have going to get better. <laughs> so we got an Amazon employee with a back injury recording as he explains that he's being forced into hand bomb, meaning lift and transport heavy objects by himself. All of what's in that vehicle. Take a listen. This is my van. This is the building. Oh, uh, sir, you're not supposed to take the picture. And these are the forklifts. They are forklifts, and they want me to hand bomb that out. They don't want to unload it. Well, I, I, I don't care. You don't care. You don't care. You get you're not. You are not. You are not. You are not. Look at you. You look at you. Look this, at you. This to this will go viral. All right? You see this? Put a rejection that you cannot unload my trailer right now, my, my listen, van. Listen, okay. what you did right now, no, no. It's, a, it's a felony, it's an offense. And I can, I, yeah, yeah, take my picture. Take my picture, but I'll there. make sure that you are in trouble. They are not, right? 
they are not unloading me, they want me to hand on that, and they have forklifts inside that can instantly take the load of the van. This is Amazon for you. This is Amazon fulfillment for you. Parents using their children as a tool in their divorce against the other parent are disgusting and should be slapped about 27 to 88 times approximately until they start behaving like the role models they should be. You do not touch them. Nova, come here, baby. You do not have rights to them. Do not touch them. Come here, them. Nova. 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 Come here, baby. I will call the cops. Nova. Nova. Come here, baby. Come on. Come on. Britt, I gotta call the cops. I gotta call the cops. Bye. They, this is this is the type of mom she is. Come here, baby. No. Why can I not touch my child? I don't girl? trust you. Why would I trust you with my kids? Look at how you're acting versus look at how I'm acting. You're acting irrational. As Come here. Can I get not? I can't give my daughter a hug. You're not touching her. She's calling the cops now. Come here, Luna. Can I have a hug? Uh, 500 Selena Road. <laughs> I love you, Dad. I love you. I'm trying to give my kids a hug. I'm literally trying to give my I'm kids a hug. Keep him away from the freaking kids because I'm trying to get a protection order, and he's freaking sitting here filming me and freaking trying to get the kids from me, and he doesn't even have rights to two of the kids. I have everything on recording, bro. No, I, hey, my name is on the lease. He moved, my okay, name is on the lease. On the lease, but he moved out. Chase Whitaker. You got my, you got my paperwork, right? Yeah, it's in the car. Cool. Hi, baby. Hi, oh, princess. Hi, princess. Oh, well, she doesn't want to be a bad mommy when she's being recorded. Yeah. Is that my princess? It's okay. Look, mommy can try to keep you from me all she wants. I promise you, daddy will be, daddy will be right behind her. I promise you. I promise you, daddy will be right there, okay? I love you. Have a kiss. <laughs> what you got? What is that? Is that a penny? Yeah, you're such yeah. a fake. I'm such a fake. Yes. I have been acting like this since I got here, bro. Well, I'll be damned. Even NFL superstar Terrell Owens is not immune to Karen as this lady in his own neighborhood decided to make a huge scene with him after he got out of his car after she accused him of running a stoplight that doesn't even exist and then dramatically switches gear when the cops arrive. I'm good. What's up, sir? What's going on, folks? I'm driving to my mailbox. Mm -hmm. She telling me I'm speeding, telling me to slow down. First of all, I didn't harass you. She telling me to slow down. I said, what do you mean slow down? I said, yo, I'm just going to the mailbox. Then she goes, get the out of the middle of the road. First of all, I didn't almost hit you. Now you're just making up stuff. Just like a Karen. I did, how did I almost hit you? And I'm going to the mailbox. Yeah, I called you a Karen when I came over here after you said I called the police. Absolutely. Then you then you went on to say, oh, I'm the, the subject of the HOA meeting, this and that and the other. I got liens and shit on my house, this and that and the other. Then you start bringing up my status, who I was, my HBO, my I VH1. Your status, I don't give a shit. You the one brought it up, lady. I, I did, did it. it. Right. You did it. You did. Hey, hey, folks. First of all, first, first of all, I didn't almost hit her. Sir, okay. No, 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 I'm okay. fine, sir. I, first of all, I didn't almost hit her. I understand that. Just relax. I'm not finna sit up here. And... He ran the stop sign. <laughs> well, there is no stop sign. What are you talking about? I understand. <laughs> I wasn't, but I asked him to slow down, and he started. He got out of his car and started harassing me. He put his car in park. Right, because you're gonna yell at me and tell me I'm almost hit you, and I didn't. But you didn't have to get out of your car. You didn't have to talk to me that way either, Karen. You're a black man uh, approaching a white woman. First of all, you had your your boy right here, your husband right here. So first of all, I don't do that type okay, of stuff. Relax. You did. You put your car in park and you came uh, at yeah, me. Yeah, I, I first of all, I didn't come at you. Yes, you, can, you did. You can stop all of that, Karen. Okay, listen. 
Get out of here with all of that. Listen, if you guys want me here, I can solve this. He literally came after me. <laughs> here she crying. There's Karen. Look at this. This is unbelievable. Swear to God, I've never been a part of nothing like this. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Yes, I've seen it, but this is firsthand. Oh boy, as she's crying. Oh my god, this is this is real. This is real. This is real. Here you go. Here you go, sir. This is real. This is real. This is real. This is real. I've never seen I've I've seen it, but I've never been a part of this. This is real life. And now she's crying. Her husband tried to tell her to go in the house, but now she wanted to do the whole Karen thing. So I'm gonna be here with my camera to show everything. First of all, you need to stop that. He was not. I was in the garage. You're lying now because I was sitting in the garage. She said I was speak. First of all, I went. I know what you're saying. Don't even. No, no, I get you. No, this is real. This is real life in 2022. This is real life, Karen stuff. <laughs> And I've, she crying. I've never seen I do. I've seen it on 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 TV. I've seen it on video, but th I've never really been a part of something like this. This is unbelievable. Then she brought up that I'm the subject of HOA. Said everybody's been talking about me, my my house. I don't keep up with my house. I got liens. I don't pay my fines. Everything. I how do I know? Cause she told me. Karen. What's her name? Kate. Close enough, Kate. So when I drove by, she said she called the police. I was like, cool. I'm going to sit right here till they come. Wow. I'm going to sit right here till they come. And she over there crying. Cause Yo, she just started crying just now. Oh, when they rolled when they, up. Yeah. I talk, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk to uh, George Lopez since I'm the subject, whoever the HO is. Since I'm the subject of the meetings, I'm going I'm, I'm to ask them, what, what do I need to do since I can stop? I don't even, I bar I'm barely even here. And then told me, I'm living in, you, you, you're living in a low budget neighborhood. Oh, yeah. I live in a low budget neighborhood, but she living in here with me. <laughs> I'm living in a low budget neighborhood. But oh, this all good. I ain't tripping. She don't know nothing. I got two houses. I'm not even worried about that. But that just that's how she was coming at me. So when I called a Karen, husband want to tell me, oh, stop calling a Karen. <laughs> Man, I'm not. She, they thought I was just going to bow down and listen to all that mess. OK. This is this is where we are. This is where we are, America. This is where we are. Nah, but you heard what she said. She said I came after her. You heard that yourself. But then I just said, then she said she didn't say it. She said I came after her. Really? And then he, and he wondered why I call her Karen. Quit calling. That's what Karens do. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm like, I don't, I don't do this, bro. I've never gotten in any trouble when I was playing. I don't get involved in any stuff like this. So for her to come at me like that, that's why I did that. That's why I came over and I'm like, okay, cool. You want to come at me sideways? I'm going to come at you back sideways. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just words? No, no. I, sir, well, I, I won't, I'm not going to get anywhere out of trying to, again, touch her. Her husband was right there, whatever. For what? But she's not finna talk to me crazy and then tell me I'm doing something that I wasn't doing and then get over here and get a reaction. She wasn't doing no crime before you got here. As soon as she started, I guess, giving her side of the story, the, 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 the tears came down. Come on, man. This is unreal. I've been here two days. <laughs> two days. Well... Anything else you need from us? Man, no, man. I just wanted to make sure because I knew at some point y'all were going to come to my door. So I just stayed right here till y'all got here. Appreciate so it. So I don't know why she thought I was going to run somewhere, but she wasn't finna sit up here and talk to me crazy. This, that, yeah, f you. This, that, yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. That's fine. That, that, that's what I have been. If you folks go ahead and keep your Can you get into your vehicle, sir? Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. I, I can't believe this. This is this is unreal. Unreal. I, 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 huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, well, people, this, is, uh, this has been my night. 
But I just want to let y'all know, man. I, hey, this real, this Karen stuff is really real. It's really real. That's all I got to say. It's real. And that is it for today's video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.